supporting native Hawaiian high school students and their families to ensure their success as they head off to college and beyond. That is the goal of Project Hokulani. And joining us this morning to talk all about the program and how you can get your students involved is Jarek Feliciano, Lead Project Coordinator for Project Hokulani. Good morning, Jarek. Thanks for joining us. Morning. Can you tell us a little bit more about what is Project Hokulani and I guess who's eligible for the program? Yeah, sure. So Project Hokulani is a educational program funded by the U.S. Department of Education Native Hawaiian Education Program grant. And our goal for the project is to increase the number of Native Hawaiian students who enter into uh, STEM fields or science, technology, engineering, and math fields. <clears throat> and uh, any student is eligible who is going to be in high school in the fall. So. Uh, even eighth graders who are going to graduate or pass and then be in high school in the fall ninth grade they can also they can apply yeah so and, uh, sorry. it can be anybody from oh sorry anybody <laughs> from uh <laughs> any of the uh, islands of oahu molokai Kauai, landai or the big island can be part of the project perfect sorry there's a little pause there so i was like eager to ask you another question. <laughs> How long yeah. has this program been going on and what are the benefits to participating um, you know, in the program for students, whether they're on Oahu, on Maui, as you mentioned, from many of the islands? Yeah, um, so we are actually going into our third year of the program. And um, this is a free year-long work-based learning opportunity for local students to explore the importance of working as a scientist, a technology uh, specialist, engineer, uh, and mathematician so right here in our local communities. So they participate in hands-on science lessons that uh, are hosted at local colleges. Mm -hmm. There are also opportunities for uh, virtual classes if people rather be virtual and, or than in person. Um, we provide college prep. so. I know one of the bigger things is people are always asking about, you know, how are you going to pay for college? So we teach students about um, going, I mean, applying for financial aid. We show them how to apply for scholarships where you can uh, find out information about scholarships. Uh, and then all that training and um, preparation goes into our, leads up to the summer internship. So there's a paid internship in the summer where students get to uh, be in an internship at one of the organizations that partner with us. So we have organizations that we work with, such as Oceanit, Mauna Kea Forest Restoration Project, Venture Physical Therapy, and Ely Pool. Very cool. And I, as you just mentioned, having those resources to even just figure out you know, what do I need in order to go to college? How do I find these scholarships? How do I apply for these grants? Those are questions on students' minds, on families' minds. I know that was on my mind when I was trying to figure out all of that. Um, but you know, for kids who maybe aren't interested in STEM, which as you mentioned is you know science, mathematics, um, what, why would you tell maybe somebody who is like, ah, oh, I don't wanna do science or math. Why would you tell them they should still take part in this program? Um, yeah, so <clears throat> there are opportunities as well to be creative. So we have digital media lessons where we teach students about um, how to use technology in terms of creating animation. So if you're interested in animation, we have activities that center around that. Um, I think it's also good to just learn about how things work in our world. So all of our topics usually center around um, some kind of real world application. And like I said to you, if even just learning about our college prep and you know, a lot of colleges require personal essays. So we go through the process of how do you write personal essays and go through the basics of um, applying for colleges and filling out college applications. Yeah. And there's just a lot of support too with our project. So we have mentors that each student gets paired up with and so they can um, meet up with their mentor mentors to you know um, ask questions if they have questions about going to college or college life and the mentors also follow up with them and see if checking with them see if they have any goals that they're trying to achieve and uh, making sure they have the resources to achieve those goals yeah 
I think we can all agree having good mentors makes a huge difference as we continue to move through college into our careers. But as for students and parents, if they want to get you know, their student involved, they want to get involved, how can they do that? Who do they contact? Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, we are accepting applications now until June 17th, and the program does start in September. So space is limited if they want to join the project. Um, they should sign up as soon as possible. They can find out more information on our website as well as the applications at projecthokulani.com. Um, on there, it's, I also want to mention that you can find out about all the internships available on um, each island, and it gives information about what you what you, you can expect um, at that internship site if you were to sign up for it. Um, and students can also contact me, or parents can contact me, Jared Feliciano, at projecth at hawaii.edu if they have any questions about the project. Uh, I'll be more than happy to answer any questions they may have. Perfect. Well, thank you so much for joining us this morning, Jarek. We appreciate you being here. Ah, thank you for having me.